Good afternoon, I'm Tori Looms with the Roanoke Regional Chamber of Commerce, and this is our public policy briefing for the week of November 3rd. Wave, tsunami, shellacking, red dawn. As political pundits and assorted cable news hacks struggle to find an apt metaphor for Tuesday's, Tuesday's election results, I think one thing is perfectly clear. The American electorate is very upset with the political class and very anxious about the state of the economy and the direction of our country. Let's take a closer look at some of the exit poll data from Tuesday's election. 54% of the voters disapprove of the Obama administration. 59% say they are unhappy with congressional leaders. 79% say they have a negative view of Congress. More than two-thirds of voters believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. Seven in ten voters stated that they have concerns about economic conditions, and only 22% believe that the next generation of Americans will be better off. To lighten the mood, let's have some fun by looking at some other interesting numbers from Tuesday's election. The total amount of money spent on the midterms election was estimated to be $3.7 billion. However, Americans spent $7.4 billion on Halloween. According to the United States Election Project, turnout for this election was 36.6%. That's the lowest since 1942. Interestingly, though, the GOP wave was not just at the national level. Republicans picked up a net gain of between 300 and 350 seats in state legislatures and will now control over 4,100 of the nation's 7,383 state legislative seats. While Senate race in Virginia was remarkably close, the closest race for a House seat was only 16 points. But remember, gerrymandering is not an issue. Interestingly, voters in four states, South Dakota, Nebraska, Illinois, and Arkansas, approved hikes in the minimum wage. So where does this leave us? Well, according to Vox columnist Matthew Glacius, America seems to be on an endless political seesaw. In 2016, Democrats have an electoral coalition optimized to win the presidency. Yet, two years later, in 2018, Republicans uh, will be likely favored to pick up seats in the midterm. Whiplash may be the new norm. Yuval Levin of the National Review argues that Democrats appear to be intellectually exhausted and hopes that the Tuesday's election will be a wake-up call. However, he also says that Republicans need to define themselves as something other than just against Obama. Finally, The Economist points out that Tuesday's results may not mean anything at all. With a dated and hopelessly complex federal bureaucracy and a Congress mired in partisan gamesmanship and, and procedural quirks that allow a small minority to stall legislative action, dysfunction is likely to continue. On that happy note, if you'd like to share your thoughts on the midterm election, please tweet using the hashtag ChamberArena.